Denver for Pictures GC. John, wow. <laughs> um, you are currently sitting at 10 under. You shot two 500 rounds in a row. You are battling it out with some of the best players in the world right now. You will be um, in the featured group tomorrow on the first team. Tell us about what this week has been like for you and what's going through your mind right now. I mean, it's been an awesome week. Uh, I got a little bit of a taste of it in Houston. And I feel like I came into this week a lot calmer, kind of knew what to expect. Um, you know, the party hall in Houston kind of got me a little bit. I never played with that much noise. So that was something I had to kind of get used to. But once I was able to get over that, yeah, I, I, I felt very calm. I mean, as calm as I could be. And I've been putting in a lot of hard work. Been playing some good golf this year. And I feel like it's just kind of shown. Uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge tomorrow. We'll see what happens. The nerves on that first tee tomorrow, staying there, knowing that you have a chance to actually win this thing. Are you going to have a lot of nerves, or are you going to kind of keep that in check, under control? It's funny they ask you the same question on the 18th period. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I might, I might be on that team. I might be nervous, or I might be, you know, very, very calm and enjoying it. Um, you know, today was my first experience of it, and I loved it. Like, I was like, this is, this is where you want to be. They were strapped freely down there and off, off my left. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow breaks, but I'm looking forward to the challenge for sure. And how have the other players on the been welcoming of you last week and this week with all the excitement also going around, the price and the pressures? Has the Lip family really embraced you and kind of helped you navigate this? 100%. Um, everybody's been very, very, very welcoming. Uh, it's felt like a pretty, a pretty easy transition, and I do most of the guys coming in. Uh, you know, I've been a pro for 11 years. I've played on pretty much every tour in the world. Uh, so, you know, I've had a chance to meet all these guys before, and coming back, it just kind of felt like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been, been pretty good, and obviously being part of the Crunchers is awesome. I've known, I've known Bryson since we were junior golfers. Uh, I've known Audubon for probably 10 years, and I know Paul from Europe. So, Again, it just kind of felt like, a, oh, we haven't seen you for a while. Welcome back. So, yeah, it's been nice. So, obviously, I live doing things a little bit differently from the other tours. Are you enjoying the style of golf and the atmosphere and the team for a moment? I love it. Um, I, like, I like the music. I've always liked playing golf with music. Whenever I'm home with my, with my friends, we always have music going, so it just kind of feels like that again. Uh, you know, the team part is really awesome. I think that's really cool. That's Nowhere else can we have that. Um, uh, and I feel like I'm on a really good team. <laughs> you know, we kind of have a lot of, a lot of team, team, team chemistry, team camaraderie, and I feel like that's going to help make the transition easier. So obviously tomorrow you're going to have John Rollins hunting you down, you're going to have Bryson hunting you down, you're going to have Cam hunting you down, and obviously Tyrrell at the top. What are you doing?
just kind of going back to your relationship with Bryson, how much have you guys spoken and say the last few weeks, obviously, I'm going to call you or get the call for Houston, but, you know, just last week and then obviously getting another chance this week. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, having that previous previous relationship is, has been really awesome. And, uh, you know, it was really cool to watch him, watch him in the U.S. Open. And, you know, I was cheering on him, obviously. And uh, to see him get it done was really, really cool. And, yeah, I mean, I, it, I think the coolest part is, like, I look at him, even in Houston, he just seems like he's happy. And it seems like he's... I don't want to say growing up, <laughs> but like I just it seems like it seems like he's genuinely happy with what he's doing. And I think it showed in the game and he's been really happy with me. He's been very, very cordial. You know, I just saw him when I came to the media center and he was obviously thrilled with how I played and you know, he's like, hey, let's go let's go let's go get his mom. And so that's all you can really ask of somebody, especially with that level of the game. And one last question for me. Obviously you've got a tournament that you can Win tomorrow, but how much are you also playing to say showcase what you're capable of for whatever may happen in the future? For maybe you know another team, whatever, whatever. Do you, is that in the back of your mind at all? I mean, I'd be lying if I said it didn't bring in there. But again, I, I don't, I don't really have, have have any control of that, right? Like that's that's up to the captain, that's up to the manager, that's up to you know for his you know team organization. So if I just keep doing what I'm doing, things are going to work out and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep putting in the work um, and I hope I get more opportunities to showcase what, what I can do and we'll just have to wait and see. I hope so. I can tell you that right now. I would, I would love to be out here. <laughs> John over here. Hey John, uh, we talked to you a little earlier this week and I asked you how comfortable you were in Georgia and you said yeah this is definitely a grass I enjoy. Is that what we can attribute to this this week so far? I mean, it definitely helps. Uh, you know, short game has always been a strong, strong part of my game. Uh, you know, the greens are the greens are rolling beautifully, so that helps. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it, it helps when you know that you miss the green, you can still get involved in that. Um, and hitting hitting off Soja from from the fairways, it's really easy to hit your number. So as long as you're making good swings and picking picking the right numbers, you can hit some shots in the close. And I've been able to do that. And I'm looking forward to doing that again. It's awesome. Uh, and I also walked with an older gentleman today, and he was complimenting you on how your swing is kind of like an old school swing. You play that draw in there. Is is that how you learn to play, or you never like gone to the fade? Is that your predominant? Yeah, I mean, I I, I grew up hitting the draw. You know, me and, me and my coach worked really hard on, hard on being able to hit the draw and, you know, being able to master that shot. But I mean, I can, I can work in any way I have to. I mean, I, can, I, think, I think you have to have any shot in your arsenal. But if I don't have to hit the cut, I'm probably going to hit the draw. <laughs> you know, I just, feel, I just feel very, very confident in that. So, yeah, to answer your question, yes, I have always played a draw, but I, I think part of being you know, a professional golfer is you have to be able to play it. Tomorrow. Good luck and have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.